We got the Georgia Bulldogs going up against the Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, who do you have winning and why? I mean, I'm a Florida Gator fan. I don't want to see anybody from the SEC really win. Um, but obviously, it being the best conference in college football, you're going to get an SEC matchup, usually nine times out of ten outside of maybe Ohio State. Uh, and in recent years, the ACC was pretty dominant with Clemson and having, you know, Deshaun Watson and Trevor Lawrence. But that seems to have passed and the ACC has returned back to irrelevancy. Um, this is a tough one for me, man. I don't want to see Bama win it again. Bama is the New England Patriots of college football. Nick Saban is the greatest college coach of all time. Obviously, the recruits, the players, the personnel, the coaching staff that he has acquired over the course of his tenure at Alabama is probably the greatest that we've ever seen arguably in sports outside of, of course, the Patriots dynasty. Um, but I really want Georgia to win. I just can't get over the fact that they butchered the SEC championship with some turnovers and that Alabama kind of just ran away with it. But I am going to pick Georgia. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to say that Georgia is going to find a way to, you know, uh, make up for the loss that they had earlier this, this year, or should I say earlier last year, uh, and I think that they are going to find a way to knock Nick Saban off. I think that the offense is going to come a little bit more prepared. I think that the the dominant victory over Michigan gave them some confidence. They got a little bit of their swagger back. Um, but for Georgia to win, they need their defense to dominate. That is why Georgia is in the position that they are in. That is why Georgia was the number one seed, or should I say the number one ranked school in the country, for basically the entire year. Georgia went out there and dominated everybody at full capacity. No matter the school, no matter the ranking, no matter the opponent, they were able to shut teams out. They were able to blow teams out of the water. And just for the record, I have their schedule here. They beat Clemson first game of the year, ranked, th- ranked third. October, Arkansas was on that surge. They beat Arkansas that was ranked eight. Auburn, another tough SEC game. They were ranked eighteen. Kentucky, a surging out of nowhere team in the SEC, another difficult in conference team. They win that game. They beat Florida, who was shit all year, but again, another SEC team. Missouri, they beat. They beat Tennessee. And then the final ranked opponent that they beat this year was Michigan, who was ranked two, who won the Big Ten. So once again, they didn't just beat Scrubs, they didn't just play no names. Granted, not everybody in the SEC is ranked but they were able to dominate their opponents in convincing fashion. I need Georgia to dominate the way that they need to dominate, the way that they have been all year. They have to run the football, and they need Stetson to keep the ball away from Bama's defenders. They have to run the football effectively, and the defense of Georgia needs to swarm, and they need to beat up Bryce Young, who obviously is the Heisman Trophy winner, another Alabama Heisman Trophy winner, woohoo! But... If that defense can find a way to get pressure, if that defense can find a way to get him off of his game and keep the ball out of Alabama's playmakers, I truly and honestly believe that this game can be had for Georgia. The narrative is always that Kirby Smart can't win the big game. Kirby Smart likes to choke. Obviously, he did a few years back when Tua Tungavailoa came in at halftime for Jalen Hurts, and they won with that wide-open busted coverage to Devontae Smith in the end zone. Uh, but I think it's time to shake that narrative up. I do think that Georgia can go out there and win. It's a matter of starting this game off confidently, remaining consistent, and remaining dominant in their defense. Yeah, I think this game is going to be more competitive than it was in the SEC championship game uh, over a month ago because Alabama absolutely blew the doors off Georgia in that game. And really... The one thing that I will kind of take away from that game in particular in the SEC championship game was just how effectively Alabama was able to move the ball up and down the field against Georgia's defense. Because Georgia's defense, I think it kind of goes without saying at this current moment in time, that this is one of the best defenses in college football this year. It's not even close. They're probably the best defense throughout the entire uh, college football realm. And Alabama just destroyed them single-handedly like it was nothing. I mean, to put up 41 points against Georgia, I mean, that's an impressive feat. Now, I don't think that's going to happen in this game. I think it's going to be a much more competitive game than it was the first matchup that they had um, in the SEC Championship. But to me, I'm going to go with Alabama in this one. And 
Kevin, I'm going to kind of take one of the points that you made. I can't trust Georgia. Georgia, for some odd reason, they just happen to fall apart when the moment is shining brightest on them. I mean, a couple of years ago, back in 2017, similar situation. They're playing for a national championship game against Alabama. And to attack of Iowa, freaking hits a burner up the sideline to Devontae Smith for the game when he touched down over Georgia. Now, I don't know if it's going to be played out the same way where Bryce Young is going to do that with like Jamison Williams uh, to end the game. I don't really see that happening. But to me, Georgia is going to have to establish some sort of pass rush against Alabama's offense. Uh, excuse me, Alabama's offense. And I just don't particularly see that happening uh, throughout the majority of the game. I think they'll be able to do it in spurts. But I do think that Alabama is going to just... I still think that they're going to be able to move the ball pretty effectively against this Georgia defense. It's just I think that Georgia is going to be able to put up a little bit more points to make it more competitive. I think it's going to be a high-scoring affair. I do think that both teams are going to crack over 30 points in this one because in the last one, it was such a runaway. I think that kind of caught everybody off guard, but I think this is going to be a much more uh, competitive game where I think it's going to only be one position that that decides it. Uh, When I look at Alabama, I think they win this one by the score of like, I'm going to say like 35 to 31. I think this is going to be one of those games. It's going to come down to the end. But when I look at the quarterback matchup, I, I got to favor Bryce over Stetson, even though I think that Stetson has played pretty solid throughout the majority of the year, throughout most of the year. I'm just going to go with Bryce on this one. I just think that overall, Alabama is more well-equipped. And I think they're going to be able to just get by Georgia in this one. But it's it's one of those things. Georgia's a very good team, but I think they're just going to fall a little bit short. And that's kind of Georgia's MO, unfortunately. And I think it's going to show in probably the worst moment imaginable once again. I got a lot of Georgia fan friends. And I I don't know how that's even possible, but meeting them in college and, you know, having actually know them personally in and out in terms of their fandom and how, how much of a fan they are with Georgia. Um, Shout out to my friend Savannah and my friends Garvin and Garvey. Um, they are just the biggest Georgia fans you could possibly get, mainly Savannah, just because of the the situation that she's always in on Twitter and social media where people are always coming for her neck sideways like a girl's not allowed to know sports. But she knows everything about Georgia football. So, I mean, if anybody's going to know anything, it's going to be Sav. So, once again, shout out to my friends. But I just – I listen, they have one of the better tight ends in football, Georgia – They have a good running game. They have the league's best defense. They have a consistent quarterback. Not that he's great, but if he can just manage the game effectively, keep the ball out of Bryce's hands, and if that defense can give me some sign of life, that they can force some turnovers, that they can get to Bryce, that they can keep the ball out of the playmaker's hands, I I truly and honestly think Georgia has a shot to go out there and win. Now, if they repeat anything from the SEC championship debacle, and I mean anything, whether that's turnovers or whether that's the inability to just stop Bryce Young, there's not a chance in hell Georgia's ever going to come close to another national championship like this because of how dominant they were all year long. And I mean, bro, I have the schedule. I'm pretty sure they shut out I don't know how many schools – they, they donutted Vanderbilt. They donutted Arkansas. They donutted Georgia Tech. They left Charleston Southern on seven. They left Florida on seven, Missouri on six. I mean, UAB at seven. They, they, they shut Clemson's offense down, who was third in college football, in opening night to three points. And then they go out there and they, and they bust Michigan's ass 34-11. Like, they have the personnel to do it. You know what I mean? They have the coaching staff that's ready to go. It's just Alabama knows how to win when it matters most. Well, the the part that that I didn't bring up and I should have is is the coaching aspect. I, I mean, Nick Saban is head and shoulders above Kirby. It's not even close. Hundred percent. And I think just from the game planning, just the the strategy that goes into the game while you're setting up the game plan. I just think that he has these guys' numbers. Now, Georgia could, I'm saying Georgia could, they could find some weaknesses in this Alabama defense because this Alabama defense, at times, 
can be had. Just really, a team hasn't been able to do it enough to be able to overcome them consistently. Because I think if I remember correctly, I, I remember Alabama, they lost kind of earlier in the season when they were looking a little bit suspect compared to their usual selves. But to me, I really do think that the only way that Georgia's going to be able to win this game is if they're able to outscore them. Because I don't have a lot of faith that Georgia's going to be able to slow down Alabama's offense. If they're able to get a pass rush and force a turnover to, okay, maybe that's a little bit different. But I think Alabama's going to know that they're going to try to bring the uh, pressure against Bryce, and I think they're going to get the ball out quick. That's the best way that you can counteract a pass. That's the best way to counteract a pass rush. Just get the ball out quick and just get yards after catch. I just think strategy, a game plan, I just think Nick Saban is head and shoulders above Kirby, and I think it's going to show out in that national championship game. It's just, it, it, it's something that I don't, that we don't typically bring up as far as like just the coaching aspect goes, but it's such a stark. It makes a difference, too. man. It's a difference. And I think that's going to be on display in that championship game. 